Hey guys, welcome back to another Destiny 2 video. In this video, I'm going to break down how to complete a Link to the Chain raid challenge. This will be the second one. There will be two more uh, next the week, two weeks after this launched, and there will be there was one last week. So let's get into the video. So this will be a little bit tougher than last week's, but the weekly the week's challenge requires all players to tether to the boxes at the same time, regardless of where they are. This will be played in the second encounter of Garden of Salvation. So. Again, this week's challenge requires all players to tether to the boxes at the same time, regardless of where they are. You can lose the enlightenment buff, but fire team members must all tether to the towers within a second or two of one another. If one of your teammates doesn't get the buff upon refresh, then you will fail the challenge. I recommend using mobility mods, because that will increase your speed during this. I totally recommend this for your armor, so be aware of that. When the encounter starts, break up into three teams of two. Have the team on the right and left push down their respectful hallways while the third team defends the spawn tower. The spawn tower should not kill their angelic upon both the right and left teams have slain theirs. Once this happens, kill the spawn angelic and then all three teams of two should tether at the same time. Now have one person from the right and left them push to the back tower and clear out the enemies. After the last angelic falls, have a person defending the right tower go refresh with two at the back tower at the same time. The player defending the left tower should refresh while the team at back at spawn. This means that there will be two teams of them refreshing at the same time. These will be the teams that refresh together throughout the entire encounter. Once the refresh is done, the right and left towers defenders should go back to their respectful towers and defend. When the angelics begin to arrive, both the person responsible for that base and the floater for that side need to quickly kill them. As soon as the angelics are killed, both teams should refresh their buff at the same time. If you need to refresh when angelics arrive, that team of three should quickly move to another box. Additionally, you want to refresh board before the phrase undergrowth defense deployed appears at the bottom left corner of the screen. This indicates when the angelics and shielded enemies will arrive, slaying them ahead of the angelics is critical but make sure to have an emergency plan if you do not need to obtain the buff in that box is locked repeat this four times until the walls drop down and you can move into the center from here just form a six-man chain from the box to the tower into the center between each wave make sure to dedicate someone as the box shooter so there isn't tons of chaos when your entire team is getting the buff Blast for the both ways of the enemies, and you finish the challenge. So yeah, the guys, that pretty much sums it up. I know it's a little bit confusing, but basically all players have to tether to the angel into the thing in this encounter at the same time. So be aware of that. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Subscribing and liking to the channel really means a lot, and I would hope you guys do that because again, it is amazing. Our Discord will be linked down below if you want to check. We have a lot of nice guys, and LFG also is there. So let's get on to it. Thank you guys for watching this amazing video. Remember to subscribe and like for more, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.